After 10 days out in the Far East, the trip is almost over for our Lionesses. We've taken you behind the scenes for the tour and it's time to check in with Captain Steph Horton on the eve of the Australia game. We wanted to come and experience a different culture and it's certainly been different and to play China within two days of travelling over 24 hours and one training session I think we're obviously disappointed to lose and we shouldn't be losing against teams ranked lower than us. We know that we want to win, we know that in every game that we play we want to win and England Australia is quite a big fiction no matter what sport you play and this one's no different and it'll be quite an interesting game but of course we want to try and uh, make sure we have that winning mentality every game we play and hopefully it starts tomorrow. Steph's got quite a tight quads and uh, sort of adapters so she's just been coming in daily after, the tra after training so we've trained late tonight um, and we're just really loosening them off really so any tight bits sort of flushing it out getting rid of all the sort of chemicals that have built up from training so that yeah, so you can feel good tomorrow on match day. Success in the World Cup has meant that we have a pressure where everybody wants to beat us, but it's a great pressure for us. We want to be known as one of the best teams in the world and in Europe, and um, hopefully we can just change our mentality to try to enjoy our football and to make sure that we're consistently good every game that we play. Overall, I think everybody's enjoyed it, um, but let's just hope we win tomorrow and then we can go home happy and then look forward to playing Germany again. As well as being the final game of the tour, the match will also take on special significance for Jill Scott. The 28-year-old has been named in the starting lineup, earning her a landmark 100th cap. When you made your debut at 19 against Holland, you became part of an international football, football family, the England family. Okay? That family today are all extremely proud of everything that you've done, everything you've achieved, and we'll be locking arms at that anthem and singing our hearts out for your 100th cap. Congratulations, Andy Drill, and hope you had a good career. <laughs> and, and Merry Christmas! <laughs> Bye, Andy Drill. Thanks to everyone. I'm excited to put on the shirt for the 100th time today. And hopefully it's not about me at all and I just want to go out there and try and help the team get that win that I think we all thoroughly deserve after a hard week in China. I think just, just touching on the World Cup, the, the teams now have this massive expectation that they want to beat us and we've got to kind of rise to that challenge and, and be the team that, you know what, people want to beat us so much because of our success but I believe as the players in this room will get the win today and go home with a big smile on our face. So thanks very much, I really appreciate it. With Scott leading out the Lionesses, it was a commanding performance from Mark Sampson's side. Izzy Christensen's second half strike proving to be the difference, resulting in England ending the trip on a win. The message meant so much, obviously not having my family here, but knowing that the support and from home and probably one of the best days of my life really, to be honest. So yeah, I'm glad that we could sign off with a win and thanks to the team and the staff for making it a very special day for me and as I say, my family and friends. That's it from the tour. We hope you've enjoyed going into the very heart of the England camp. <laughs> and we hope you'll be at Bristol to see the Lionesses take on Bosnia and Herzegovina on Sunday. Three, two! Bristol, be there. <laughs> I got it in there. Got a plug in there. <laughs>